At 10, an upstate megachurch pastor is addressing a letter he received this week that claims he's behind a lease pay he's behind on his lease payments. He says that is not the case. Pastors John and Aventur Gray brought Relentless Church to Greenville just over a year ago. They moved into the property off of Haywood Road that had been occupied for decades by pastors Ron and Hope Carpenter and Redemption World Outreach. In May of 2018, they did a ceremonial passing of the keys right there in front of the whole congregation. Today, Pastor Gray told his congregation that not long after he took those keys, he would find out there were complications in this deal. Now, just this week, news leaked that Pastor Gray had received a letter from an attorney from the Carpenters, a letter claiming that Relentless Church is behind on lease payments and is being evicted out of on January, or excuse me, on December 31st. Pastor Gray told his congregation today that the church has made its lease payments and is not being evicted. He then sat down with Fox Carolina's Cody Alcorn to explain where things stand. Perhaps you've heard some news and some rumblings regarding our church. Pastor John Gray stood before his congregation at Relentless Church today and did not shy away from the controversy surrounding a letter he received this week claiming that he's behind on lease payments. He said it goes back to May of 2018 when he took the keys from redemption. He told Fox Carolina he would eventually find that taking over the property wouldn't go as smoothly as he thought. I will say this, that uh, when we received keys, it was our understanding that we were entering into an agreement that would allow us to have control of these uh, properties. Uh, that was not able to happen. It was not because of anything that we did. And I think it would probably be more appropriate for Pastor Ron and Redemption to speak about uh, the beginning of the transition and, and why that uh, particular moment was not able to be um, executed in the way that we both anticipated. Pastor Gray says they instead entered into a lease agreement and that Relentless is up to date on the lease and will continue to make payments. In a statement, a spokeswoman for Relentless reiterated the Grays are up to date on lease payments. She said the letter from Redemption refers to quote a false verbal agreement, though did not elaborate further. Clearly, um, Redemption and Pastor Ron believe that they have a position. We believe that we have a position. And I think that's what the legal process respectfully allows for us to have disagreements, but to handle them in, in, a, in an honorable way. Pastor Gray says he doesn't regret moving forward with the plan to come to Greenville. I don't regret at all coming to Greenville. Uh, there are many things that I would love to have learned prior. Uh, I will say that I believe that I serve God and I'm a great communicator uh, when I hear from God. But one of the things that I had to learn is understanding uh, the other side, which is business. And there are many things that in hindsight I could have learned and listened and, and uh, perhaps in that regard I could have been more wise, but I do not regret coming here. I believe that we're supposed to be here and I still think and know we have work to do here. Pastor Gray told us that he has spoken to Pastor Ron Carpenter since receiving the letter and that communication gives him home that they will find a resolution. We have reached out to the Carpenters who now lead a church in California but have not heard back from them quite yet. You can read more about this story including the official written response from Relentless Church in the Fox Carolina News app.